Um, Robert, firstly, congratulations, and how would you kind of sum up the match? Uh, a lot better performance than last week, I would say, because this game where you dictate and we create a lot of chances, and, and I think we play out from the back in a very good way. And looking good as a team, uh, winning, also good. Then, of course, we want to score more goals. We score one goal, I think we have 19 goal chances, and we have a few really good goal chances as well. So I think uh, happy with the win, happy with the performance, but we can definitely improve how to more goals. And of course, Beth England were our first WSL goal of the season. We've always banged on about how it will eventually come to her. It did today. Kind of how pleased are you for her? I'm very happy for her. I mean, uh, for me, it doesn't really matter who scored the goals because the team scored goals. But for her, who working so hard for a long time and, and I had her on the bench for a few games as well. So I'm very happy that she can come back and, and give that to the team and to herself and build self confidence because she's a brilliant striker and strikers need goals. So that was good for her. And of course, part of the goal was Grace Clinton with the assist. She played centrally again today yeah. um, and kind of pulled strings of the match. Kind of, How would you sum up her performance once again? I think she, I mean, she's not brilliant all the game right now, but she's brilliant in those small moments and she's so good on the ball. So I'm just letting her play and play and play because I think that's going to help her development. And then she still bring us that goal because she did a great assist to, to Beth, for example. Uh, so she's taking steps because she's still not consistently good in every game, but, but she's 20, so that's quite normal. But I just like to keep playing her because she's learning new stuff every week and she gives stuff to the team and then it's easy to keep playing her. And she works hard in defense as well and now she can handle the 10 position, which I didn't think in the beginning, so she's good for us. And of course, another clean sheet, and I know all your philosophy is about attacking football, but being able to keep a clean sheet in tough, like nervy matches like this, that must please you. It is, yeah, and I think that when you look at how we press and keep them far away from our goal most of the time, that's also pleasing because we want to be a high-pressing team, right? And I think that's where you can see now that everybody understands how we want to press the opponent, how we want to win those duels. But then I also know, you know, when you get 2-0 in these kind of games, you probably win 3-4-0 because then you get a self-confidence to do this stuff. And, but it's, it is where we are in the journey right now, so I'm very happy that we keep the clean sheets, and I think Becky's been brilliant those games when she came back as well, and Luan and Amy was great this game as well, so... We're taking steps, but no, I want to score more goals. And of course, three weeks off now. How do you kind of take time to kind of go away, regroup, uh, settle in, and then prepare for one of the biggest matches in the club's history? Yeah, we're going to make sure we have a, a good training week next week, and then we're going to go. The whole squad will be off for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think it's important for the national team players to also get some breaks. So we're going to use that, that weekend to get everybody on a reader, basically, and then we're going to train really hard with the the place we have left the week after that and then when everybody's come back from the national team we're going to make sure we are ready for the biggest game and we're going to do everything we can to, to reach the Wembley. Thank you. Robert, how frustrating was it at half-time what was the message at half-time to the players because creating so many chances, free-flowing football, fantastic to watch but putting a game to a bed, how, how important yeah, is I that? Mean, for me it's very important to make sure that they are not frustrated or stressed because I just wanted to be, give them a match that if you're playing amazing football, you're creating chances, we just need to score more goals. So don't be stressed about the performance, just make sure how we can score more goals. So don't stress anything. And that was the main thing. And then small details, how we can do it. And then we created more chances in the second half as well, but we didn't nail it anyway. But those days are there sometimes. And I think that's one of the things we need to improve if we're going to beat the top three teams, is that we need to take, you know, we need to score more goals, right? So, so we're going to improve there as well. But now we have a good defense, we have a good uh, build up. We actually dictate the game in a very good way. And, I think some of the attack is actually brilliant. We're playing with a sort of style and movement. And so I'm, I'm kind of pleased anyway, but no, we need to improve with the goal in scoring more goals. I thought Beth England's all-round play was really good today. Of course, she got a goal first in the WSL this season. Would you expect her to be in the England squad this week? I'm not sure how much uh, Serena watches that she haven't started all the games with me, but uh, I think she knows what she has, and now she sees that she's back in the starting eleven, and she can run in behind, she can be very good in the link play today, she pressed very well. So I'm not really sure who she competes with either, but I think the performance today shows that she's, she's getting back now, and she's scoring goals, and she looks good, so I hope she's with uh, the national team, but I'm not sure. Can I just ask you about the semi-final in the FA Cup? Um, preparations, obviously... Uh, in the next couple of weeks, you don't play now for three weeks. Is that frustrating that you haven't got a game for three weeks? In one way, you want to keep playing when you win, right? In another way, you, it's kind of nice to go for a, a training mood now with a few wins in your back and you can actually feel a little bit happy with the last games and work with details. So I'm going to use that mindset. Uh, and then we're going to make sure we train well and prepare ourselves for Leicester. The good thing was that we played against them the last week, so we, we have a lot of good pictures, how they look, how we look, so we can actually work quite good in training with that. So we're going to use this time to prepare ourselves and hopefully we have a good game uh, in April. Good luck. Thank you very much. Cheers.